This is the latest Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro and you can say this is a Christmas build because it is the 25th December 2019 build for this Redmi K20 Pro and the version is like 3.5 for this Evolution X ROM and of course this kind of on top we have a little bit of tint of colors well the red is the accent color right now so it shows like that and Android version is 10 of course here and this is the December 5th 2019 like the latest security patch we have here the stock kernel is the immensity kernel and here is the build number again let me go back quickly I have been using this ROM for quite a long time and in the system there is also the system updater so that's great and if you're noticing from up close there is this VO icon for Vaulty and stuff well it sometimes doesn't appear but yeah now let me show you the like customizations panel and what are the interesting features here if you go into status bar and if you scroll down a bit you can see that there is a lot of options to choose your Vaulty icon from well you can choose this VO only icon then Vaulty icon then Vaulty oxygen OS icon then HD icon or wallet icon or even Asus's Vaulty icon you can even choose your Vaulty logo whatever you need so a lot of customizations option we have well sometimes when the Vaulty icon doesn't appear just like turn it off and then turn it on it should be coming like on top over there and here we have the clock option then the rounded corners and stuff then we have this like carrier label option and status bar items is there so we have the headset bluetooth etc icons then we have status bar logo and stuff if you need that like the evolution x logo if you want to want it to show up network traffic again is there and battery icon style is there we have icon portrait dotted circle then field circle and text and hidden well the battery portrait icon looks a little bit straight to me at least as you can see right now it looks quite straight and long so that's how the battery icon looks and i don't see any charging kind of like notification over there whenever i'm charging it just shows that like icon whenever i'm locking the screen then only i can see the charging info on the lock screen so that's how i figure out it is charging right now on this build at least in the notification panel we have the heads up disabling option then battery charging light edge lighting option is there you can choose whatever colors you need for the edge lighting and the auto color option is there depending on the wallpaper and force close notification is there ambient display brightness you can choose from here and then there is this blink flashlight on call and in call vibration options are there in the like settings in the bottom in the notification panel quick settings we have the like whole quick setting panel changing option like you can change whatever you want the opacity of the quick settings the column and row numbers from the trial and title then quick setting footer text we have the header image option if you need that battery percentage so a lot of things are there in the quick settings panel now in the power menu we have the advanced reboot of course this one is a really helpful feature as you can see you can directly boot into your recovery or fast boot like whenever you want and we have the gestures option so usb gestures and stuff is there i'm really sorry for the dog in the background i cannot help really with that let me go back we have the swipe to screenshot and this feature works really flawlessly and this brightness control feature is really helpful again as you can see i can control the brightness just by swiping on the status bar so that's great and screen of power and torch is there and let me show you this feature is working from the always on display so that is really great as you can see it is working from this always on display now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed well it did not unlock now it did the unlocking speed is like i won't say it's too bad but it is like fine enough i would say it unlocks like with two tries from the always on display as you can see right now it did unlock with one try one single try let me throw it again as you can see it is unlocking fine now let me do it again and as you can see it's unlocking sometimes like so i would rate it at like the maximum you need three tries the average will be two tries the like best quality of the fingerprint scanner i would say will be at one try one single try as you can see right now it is unlocking the device in like one single try so yeah the fingerprint scanner is not bad at all it is working like quite flawlessly when compared to the other roms so i'll definitely say that you will get the best fingerprint scanner unlocking experience on the evolution x rom when compared to all other like custom roms this is the best fingerprint scanner experience if you are gonna go with any custom rom well it is of course not as good as miui but it is like really close to miui i would say and sometimes i have noticed as you can see the fingerprint scanner dies from the lock screen still as you can see you have to double tap then and unlock the phone and then we get the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen as well 
let me go back from the gestures and of course android 10 gestures and stuff are working fine here that is not a problem and then in the lock screen you will get the pocket detection think of it authentication vibration and then there is the most interesting feature among like all of them is that always unlock with the fingerprint scanner so even if you reboot your device you can unlock the device straight up after rebooting you don't have to enter your pin even once so that is a really plus point for this rom right now and we have the status bar option like you can enable status bar in the lock screen or disable it if you want to we have the clock font size and stuff like changing option then you can change any font of the clock itself as you can see there are a bunch of fonts over here now let me go to the bottom we have the charging info charging animation then there is the like lock screen album art and stuff then there is the hardware buttons we have the invert layout and stuff if you are using two button or three button navigation now let me go back to the animations here we have the whole like screen or ui animation and here we also get the screen of power button animation or like if you double tap as you can see it does the screen of animation looks really cool i would say and from here let me go back and in the mist settings we have the gaming mode and wake up on charge disabling option then we have the usb configuration you can choose it to file transfer then we have some dose settings let me go back all the customizations i showed already in the display settings we have the night light adaptive brightness or auto brightness styles and wallpapers are there and you can like choose whatever clocks you wanna bring on the lock screen you can even like have this android q kind of clock on this words as you can see so the android q kind of clock is working fine even double tap to wake is there as you can see it is working fine you have the colors option and the screen like rotation option is there then we get the anti flicker mode you can enable it if you want to and we have the lock screen display and here always on display is enabled i have been using the device with like always on display and here we have the accent colors option and lot of accent colors are there there is even more features added i think there is also evolution x red i think this is kind of a soft red kind of look as you can see but you can choose it to be like the anything like evolution x yellow it, it shows kind of a soft yellow as you can see when when you are using the dark theme it will look really great i would say yeah as you can see uh, the yellow color looks really great dark background i have been using the dark theme i had no problem at all with that and headline and body fonts are there so you get bunch of fonts like oxygen os fonts and stuff like slate for oneplus and then there is the google sans and stuff lot of fonts options are there too and icon shapes you can change it to like whatever you want let me go back from here to the sound settings we have the mi audio direct or the sound enhancer is there i would say the sound quality via the headphones and like the 3.5 mm headphones and bluetooth as well is really great over here on this rom you also have this hi-fi audio direct or like hi-fi audio option you can enable it then there is the like sound disabling option like that sounds vibration screenshot or the sound so a lot of them you can disable any of them and you can have this kind of media panel for this like audio as you can see you can even expand it like this and this feature is really great now let me go back to the battery settings well this is how the battery section looks like as you can see looks quite tall as you can see and the battery life surprisingly it is freaking amazing look at the screenshots which like i will show you right now the battery life i have been getting like 10 hours plus screen on time with this rom with stock kernel i did not even change the kernel i do not change kernels i always try to use stock kernel of any rom because that's how you will get the best stock experience and i would say well this is the best kind of battery life i have got from this rom ever and on this build i am getting like surprisingly amazing battery life always i have been getting 10 hours plus screen on time every day so that's really great and i also have 20 percent juice left even then so that is just surprising to me when you have a snapdragon 855 underneath and you have that kind of battery life that is really great i would say and yeah i have been using the 18 watt fast charger to charge on this device on this rom and the 18 watt fast charger is working fine the quick charge 3.018 watt is just working flawlessly now talking about the stock camera we have the miui camera here and also we get the wide angle and the telephoto lens on this camera that is working fine and the most amazing thing is that you get the 48 megapixel video and the slow motion 960 fps everything by default in this rom like this miui camera is present by default you do not have to install anx camera anymore and you can also install google camera 7 if you want to and if you don't know how to install or how to like set up this camera here is a card for you for this google camera 7 and the stock launcher here is the pixel launcher to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel you can swipe up for the app drawers pretty simplistic 
and a few more points that like i want to talk about is that like the stock dialer here misses a recorder so the stock dialer does not have the call recording option by default you have to use any third party app for that so the only one bummer that i would say on this rom is that sometimes whenever like you are using the device and you switch to like your 4g data sometimes it just doesn't turn on i have to reboot the device to like get the 4g data on and talking about gaming performance and the android score here is the android score and in pubg you can play on like extreme settings over here like the highest settings possible you can play pubg on this rom so that's not a problem and even drm info shows as level one so that is great that you can like stream netflix or amazon prime videos at 1080p here and talking about flashing this rom well i just used the orange box recovery as usual and i flash this rom with the ftp disabler because i am decrypted so if you are asking me how to flash this rom flash the orange box recovery by watching this video over here and then just flash the ROM file with the FTP disabler and reboot. You don't need to flash any separate G apps or any zip files to get this ROM working because it simply doesn't need G apps. It already has G apps included in the ROM file itself. And also if you are someone who loves live wallpapers, well, there are a bunch of live wallpapers present by default over here in this ROM. You can download any of them. Like these you will find on Pixel 4 and these are the live wallpapers. You can download like whatever you need and like this kind of wallpapers it is really great that these wallpapers are present by default if you want to enjoy live wallpapers on this rom you can do it by default you don't have to install them separately and the front camera led and stuff is working fine with the sounds too so that's great now let me quickly show you the app open up speeds and the ram management here And yes, while you are using the dark theme and stuff, the Instagram dark mode and stuff is working fine here. And as you can see, all the apps does stay in memory and the app speeds and the RAM management here and the animations are working fine here too. So that is not a problem at all. The whole UI is quite smooth. You can switch between apps just like this. As you can see, it just slides through and the experience over here will be quite smooth while like daily driving with this ROM. And everything is working fine even google pay works right out of the box it shows 20,000 subscribers we already hit but it is not true i think we are about on 19,980 something so please subscribe guys if you haven't yet and do share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about this one kind of a best custom rom for this redmi k20 pro that's what i think at least so thank you so much for watching guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there again if you have not yet this is Tito from KD and signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now